Hello, bud. Hello and welcome to this week's offering, which is a Hornby Pug and a very badly painted Pug. The actual chassis is not too bad, so there's not too much. Well, indeed, if any mechanical work, it's all on the bodywork, really, which were drastic paints. He were a thick kid's paint, and obviously Percy. And to be honest, it were a fair representation if they couldn't afford a person for a kid paint of some words. And anyway, here we go. I tried it in brake fluid up first, and that wasn't overly brilliant. Uh, stripping the paint, it's not as good as you think sometimes. Ironically, it used to be brilliant at stripping paints off cars, and that's what you used the stuff on. Go figure. Anyway, it weren't taking it off the model, so into me. Methylated spirits. It went, bonus of being a nice purple colour. Tilted it on its side and shook it, it's a cocktail shaker. And it wasn't sealed too well, so we had meths all over me hands. Anyway, there we go, all the paint removed. It's going into primer. I did end up removing the paint again, because at first I did it in blue and it didn't work out. It were all full spray paint. In fact, in hindsight, I used car sprays for it, and it's, it's a gamble using car sprays on plastics. Some are okay, and others attack the plastic and give you really bad finish. Some spray too harsh for models. I'd always err away from spray cans, really. Like I said, they're an unknown quality. Some are good. Some are bad. On the die cast it's good, but on plastics, mm -mm, give cans a miss. Anyway, here we are. I've got the airbrush on the case. Oh no, I haven't. This is still the spray can. This is the, I think this was the second go. Putting it in primer. I'd already done the black as you can see, I'd, I'd masked over it with what's called washi tape. It's, it's a cheaper idea than Tamiya tape. It's the same thing essentially, all Tamiya tape is, is a washi tape. Spelt W-A-S-H-I. And in some ways it gives a cleaner line than Tamiya. Goes into crevices better because it, the one I've picked up there is thinner than Tamiya tape. I'm just picking it off with a craft knife here. Pulling it off and there we go, we've got it started. And there we go, black roof. And at the front, I did the smoke box as well. As you can see, it's far too glossy a paint, really, for the car one, but I wanted it maroon, so I sprayed it in the gloss. Lessons learned, you give them a try. At least that paint didn't attack the plastic. And it gave me the option of doing something else, which I do later. 
And here I'm just painting the firebox at the back. Painting it black. At the end I did I did play with the idea of dry brushing detail onto it and paint bits but I didn't bother in the end. And here I'm polishing some name plates I bought. There's two sets, so one's gonna be used on another local I've done. That's in the dumb videos bank for editing and putting up. It's another little industrial tank. And anyway, at this point, I decided the shine were too severe. So I sprayed over it with a sat uh, Vallejo satin varnish. And here I'm painting the buffer beams. I'm using a Revel gloss enamel. Which I got. I got some uh, enamel paints free. I wouldn't have bought some. I'm fully committed to acrylics now. But I didn't look a gift horse in the mouth. And there we're doing the interior of the cab cream. The buffer's silver. And painting the buffers at the back silver. It's, it's acquired its name plates at this point. And there we go. What I did, I just bought any any name plates off eBay. It's just a visual thing, although on industrial logos, you stick to the sharp one word names. And there we go, running beautifully. Frackwards and barwards. Dupper noun. Anyway, here's where we started. A totally battered kid paint. In need of some TLC. Ten parts of lager and a curry. And there we go. We're coming up and boosh. There's where we finished. A much nicer, more respectable looking logo. It's not a perfect job by any means, I've screwed up on a couple of little bits and there's bits I could have done better but compared to where she was, she's 100% better. She's got a little lamp at the front. I've replaced the whistles and safety valves, it's got nameplates. It's been painted, it's been given a number. And just generally looks nice. And another like nice addition to my local collection. Very much a uh, nice looking when I do finally do a layout. It'll have pride in place. Anyway, tatty pie, tatty pie everyone. Tatty pie.